Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Dean Tenney, a.k.a. Series 7 Guru, coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request. The best uh, free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you don't already have a Catlin QBank, I highly recommend it. With my Guru 10 discount get code at checkout, it's about $58, a little over, I think, 58.10, something like that. Um, for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content. We'll explicate, uh, that's just a fancy word for saying explanation in depth. We will expl explicate any question from any vendor that uh, you need help with. Just easier, it's Kaplan, because you can just send me the QID. All right, let's get started on this one. Uh, QID 1264143, XYZ Corporation has an outstanding 7% convertible bond currently trading at 102. The bond has a conversion price of 50. You know, as I always say, the minute you get the conversion price, you got to say, I don't need the conversion price. I need the conversion ratio. So anytime you're doing a convertible uh, question, it says conversion price, you got to just stop immediately. So I'm going to need the conversion ratio. The conversion terms are based on par. So par divided by 50 gives me the conversion ratio of 20 shares. I can turn this bond in and get 20 shares. I can exchange it. I can switch my status. You know, at maturity, they're going to say, what do you want? Do you want 20 shares? You want your $1,000 back. It was issued with an anti-dilution covenant. Covenant is a written promise. Remember, the Trust and Denture Act of 1939 requires a contract between the issuer, XYZ in this case, the corporation, and the bondholders. Well, I should say the trustee for the benefit of the bondholders. And what they've agreed to do is make sure that I can uh, convert this into the same proportionate ownership of the corporation. So if the company declares a 10% stock dividend, remember, everybody's getting 10% uh, more, the existing shareholders. So there's been no change in anybody's proportion ownership. However, there's going to be more shares. And I, as a convertible bond holder, say, well, well hold on. I want to be able to convert in that same proportion. So I want my conversion terms adjusted for that 10% stock dividend. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, conversion ratio, the conversion ratio, and we're going to times it by the 10% stock dividend. And I say, okay, well, when I convert, I'm going to want 10% more too. So I'm converting into the same proportion ownership. So now I'm going to want to be able to convert into 22 shares. The 20 shares plus the two share adjustment. So that's 22 shares is my new conversion ratio. So I take that, I divide by par, and I establish that the new conversion price test answer to this practice question is 4545. Now I will link to a convertible lecture that I have in the video description, as well as in the pinned comment. I can't imagine that you're not going to have to calculate parity on your Series 7. You need to be able to do that as a matter of routine. So I wouldn't worry too much about this kind of a question. Uh, very low probability you'd see something like this. Uh, very high probability you're going to have to know the conversion ratio because you can't calculate parity of the bond or parity of the stock without the conversion ratio. And that is what is highly probable on the test, this idea of calculating parity. Okay, well, remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch, yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. And I'll see you for the next explication request.